Hi, I'm Siobhan Thompson and this is Anglophenia. Now, I don't want to sound controversial or anything, but I love cute animals. I love them. But there's a bunch of British wildlife that doesn't exist in the US, probably because they never figured out how to get across that pesky little ocean. So, here are seven native British species that you don't have in America, but shh, they startle easily. Hedgehogs. You know these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. They're about the size of a softball, and if you're very lucky, you'll see them snuffling about at night looking for insects. Their spines aren't poisonous or barbed, so you can pick them up if you're very careful, but I wouldn't because they have fleas, and also they're wild animals, so don't do that. Also, if you paint them blue and roll them down a hill, they'll collect gold coins for you very fast. True story. Robins. Look, I know you think that you have robins, but you don't. What you have just looks like a robin, but American robins were named after these little pals because they have the same colouring. Robins are a common garden bird that love to sing. They're around all year, but are particularly associated with Christmas, probably because their colours pop against a snowy background. Basically every other Christmas card that you get looks something like this. Pine Martins Pine martins are rare, tree-dwelling mammals that are mainly found in the forests of Scotland. They look like something like a cross between a cat and a squirrel, and are in the same family as weasels and badgers. They have brown fur, big bushy tails, and you should see them eat a pine cone. Oh, it's adorable. They're incredibly reclusive creatures, and you can normally only tell if they live in a particular habitat by finding their scat. You know, poo. There's actually people that do this as a hobby because, well, what can I say, we're a nature-loving country. Slow worms. Slow worms look like tiny little snakes, but they're actually a type of lizard. They have vestigial arm and leg bones inside their bodies, and if they're attacked, their tails fall off. They're beloved by gardeners because they're great at pest control, and also by me because I think they're cool. They mostly hide under rocks, and my sister and I used to spend hours looking for them when we were kids, which I guess is just how you find entertainment if you grew up in the 17th century, as I did. Roe deer. Roe deer are pretty small as deer go. They're about two feet high to the shoulder and weigh about the same as a biggish dog. They live in the woods and are pretty common in rural areas. You'll often see them startled by headlights on the road at night. In the original Bambi book, Bambi and his family were all roe deer, but Disney changed them to white-tailed deer because Americans were more familiar with them, because clearly they look so different. Blue tits. These little blue and yellow birds are also common garden visitors. They're legendary nuisances to British milkmen, pecking through the tops of milk bottles to steal drinks. There's a wide variety in the family of tits. There's long-tailed tits, crested tits, great tits. Why are you giggling? Red squirrels. Red squirrels have decreased dramatically over the past hundred years, mostly because of the introduction of the bigger, more aggressive American grey squirrel. Honestly, that's cultural colonialism for you. The most famous fictional red squirrel is, of course, Squirrel Nutkin by Beatrix Potter, a wonderful Victorian children's story whose moral is don't be annoying to adults or you'll get eaten alive. Seems fair. So there you have it. Do you have a favourite British animal? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions about any other British topic, you can tweet us at Anglophenia and maybe we'll cover it in another video. And now I must bid you all a fond farewell. I'm moving on, but Anglophenia will continue, so don't worry, there'll be plenty of silly accents and inappropriate British slang to come. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Anglophenia. That one is fantastic. This one has an M. Night Shyamalan ending. You are gonna wanna click on that one.